When I came out of the surgery, I had asked Dr. Tamargo what the aneurysm was like, and he said, he said, I will tell you, he said, you, that aneurysm was maybe a month, to my estimation, a month to perhaps 10 or 11 months away from bursting. He said it was very, very thin, less. And um, I realized at that point that I had dodged a bullet, so to speak, that I was one very fortunate person. And I never forget that. Um, my wife and I, when every single night when we go to bed, I, I silently thank God for another day. Um, and every day is a blessing. Every day is like an amazing gift. I had a, a fairly substantial aneurysm that uh, sit, was situated on the optic nerve, on the left optic nerve. At that point, they referred me to the best in the industry, and that is Dr. Tamargo. Mr. Picker was very lucky in the sense that his aneurysm was picked up for other reasons. He was being worked up for other problems. He was matter of fact about the surgery, which really made us feel more comfortable about it. It was frightening. The whole idea of brain surgery is terribly frightening. I spent hours and hours and hours on the internet looking up everything I could about cerebral aneurysms so that I came to Dr. Tamargo with 22 questions typed out, ready to ask him. We had an interview process and he answered most of those questions that were on the list. I mean, we didn't even check the list. His demeanor, his, his professionalism, his willingness to explain, answer every question, not, not let us even leave the office unless every question we had everything answered. From my perspective, one of the things that I, I want to be able to do is dedicate as much time as possible that I provide as much information so I can transfer what I know about this problem to the patient so the patient understands um, as much as, as a layman can. My research had shown that you shouldn't have a surgeon do this unless they had done at least 30 or to 50, depending upon which source you consulted, 30 to 50 of these. So I asked him, how many have you done? And he checked his computer and, and he gets back to me and he says, well, you'll be the 500 and something or other patient uh, who's gone through this and uh, that I have personally operated on. We were just so jubilant that, you know, we were in the best hands possible. Things worked out very well. Uh, right after the surgery was over, I, I felt terrific. It is very important to me uh, to not only get the medicine right, but also make sure that the patient understands that uh, we are here uh, not only to cure that problem, to, but to make them feel comfortable and uh, understand that we're going to take care of, uh, of them, not just as a patient, but as an individual with a very unique problem. We understand that people come from around the world to see Dr. Tamargo, and here we are right here in Baltimore, it's, it's really wonderful. We just knew everything would turn out right, and it did. He got back to his regular routine, his photography. Life got back to normal, but it wasn't normal, and it will never be normal. It will always be special.